The earthquake that crushed Wall Street has now torn apart Main Street. Jobs vanishing at an unprecedented rate. The recession continuing to drain away at the American workforce. With the unemployment rate rising to 8.1 percent. Stocks finishing lower across the board after that brutal jobs report. All casualties of a credit crisis that became a housing crisis that ultimately became an unemployment nightmare. As Citigroup and GM teeter on collapse, a nation finds itself awash in pink slips. Those are your new interns. Aren't they a little old and overdressed? They're all former investment bankers who were laid off by the economic crash that Nancy Pelosi caused. They've got zero real-world skills, but God, they worked hard. The private jets are grounded, replaced by America's new status symbol, the paycheck. 2.6 million jobs lost in the last four months. Over 4 million people laid off since the start of the recession. Bank of America is announcing major layoffs. Pfizer say- announcing the layoff of 2,400. Everywhere, Yahoo expected to announce about 1,000 job cuts. Citigroup this morning announcing it will lay off 50,000 workers. The victims, your colleagues, your neighbors, your family, you, and our new reality. For every available job, there are five applicants right behind you. With odds like that, it's no wonder everyone is asking where the jobs are. I'm Erin Burnett, here tonight with Carl Quintanilla, and we are ready to answer that question and tell you in a very special CNBC town hall exactly where the jobs are. Believe us, there are some. America is in survival mode, and we all know somebody who has been touched by the jobs crisis. In fact, a recent poll that caught our attention found that one in every two Americans at this moment is fearful of losing their job. There is still hope, though. Companies are hiring, and there are jobs to be had. We have a a studio audience of people from New York, from Maryland, uh, from Florida. Let me get a show of hands. How many people here tonight are out of work? That is, that is remarkable. It's not good news. But in this hour, we are going to tell you where jobs are in this country, how to land them. Uh, let's face it, it's a terrifying time. It's a scary time out there. There are five states where one in every ten people is unemployed. Our job tonight, if we do it well, is to tell you where the jobs are and to arm you with the tools and the strategies you're going to need to find them, not just the stuff you hear about cover letters and thank you notes, Mm -hmm. the real stuff. Uh, Tonight, we're going to give you information about where jobs are, who's hiring. That's going to be coming up on your screen, so be ready to take some notes as well. That's right. And here covering all the angles, we want to introduce our experts now. We really have the best people uh, to tackle this problem. Jeff Taylor founded Monster.com. Many people are probably familiar with that, the online job site. Currently, the CEO of Eons.com a networking website for baby boomers. Dr. Judd Hirschman, next to him, has a Ph.D. in psychology and is an executive trainer. In terms of the mindset, Doug's going to be tackling that for us. And then Jim Sutton is with us, senior director of the executive recruiting firm Spencer Stewart. And we really appreciate having you all here. The main voice is at the table. So, Doug... Doug, without laying down on a couch right in front of you, right. uh, we heard the stats at the top of the hour. Four right. million jobs lost since the beginning of the recession. Frightening. H- how do people deal with the fear of, of, of losing their job and the discouragement of having not having one? The best advice I can give anybody right now is to understand and appreciate that fear is an emotion. We are all going to experience that emotion. It's very normal to experience that emotion. You have to accept it, embrace it, and it's okay to experience it, but don't let it influence how you behave. In other words, don't let it bottle you up and uh, prevent you from actually going out there and going for what you want. Easy to say if you don't have a paycheck coming in. It's going to influence your behavior. That's that's exactly the challenge. That's, That's what makes mediocrity from greatness. That's what differentiates the 1% from the 99%. The people that achieve higher levels of success, the elite, the ones that have the mentality, they actually force themselves to control that fear. They compartmentalize it. And we keep hearing that this is the worst jobs crisis since, whether we hear it's the early 80s or the early 70s or all the way back to the 1930s. Jeff, obviously we didn't have online websites back in the 1930s, but uh, you were the last time we had a jobs crisis, big job loss in this country, you did have Monster.com. Uh, is it a whole lot worse now? Are there similarities in terms of of people without work now uh, as what you saw then? 
I think there's a different kind of pressure in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. The first thing is companies have had no candidates for the last 10 years. So the core competencies are different. All of a sudden they have hundreds and hundreds of resumes coming in. So the first thing is how do they process it? It's crampy. It's hard to get the process moving to get you those jobs. The second thing I wanted to say is I see right now people very intimidated by the numbers. You can't control the numbers. Uh, Woody Allen has an expression, 80% of success in life is showing up. I love this expression. Most people don't show up. They're saying five candidates for every one job. In my opinion, two and a half of those candidates are not qualified and another person is not going to show up. That now means you're competing against one or two other people when mm -hmm. the job is really important to you.